Hi, this is Maria. I'm going to show you some new updates that have come into NoteShelf. Um, I have a more comprehensive video of how to use NoteShelf as it pertains to planning um, already made, and I'll link that below in the video description. Um, and I'll, if I can figure out how, I will make a link up here at the top um, to show you more of the basic functions. Uh, I'm just going to cover updates for right now. So one of the new things in NoteShelf is this little icon here will bring you categories so you can sort your journals, your planners, into folders. So I have these put into my notes folder. I have a personal just to keep them my personal stuff out of the videos. There's a trash folder. Now you can select one and move it into another folder or you can select several and move them to another folder. Okay, you can, I'm gonna get out of there, you can add a new folder and that'll pop up over here. Let's see, let's move one. Simple as that. You can, it comes up over here in my test, you can long press and get um, other options as well. Change your cover, rename, pin. If you pin it, it'll show up in a pinned section. Okay, you can hide that pinned section. You can hide it this way. Recent just shows you everything you've looked at recently. Um, and now to unpin that, that just hides it, I would long press and unpin, and it goes away from there. But you have lots of other options. You can duplicate, you can move it, you can share, you can move it to trash, um, and then you can empty your trash. You know what? Let's duplicate, see what that does. There it is. And then you can send something to the trash. You can long press and send it to the trash that way. Let's move this one back to where it was so I don't actually delete anything. Okay, so now my test folder is, is empty. Okay, I can delete that test folder itself. I'm in trash, so I've got my notes, I've got personal, I've got trash. I can empty the trash just to clear up some space. So that's new, okay? And you can get rid of that by pushing that same little icon. All right, the other thing that's new, let's go open, open this one. Another new feature is, let's go to another page. I'm going to just grab my photos, put them on the side here. Um, I keep my images in a photo album. Just, uh, it's just how I prefer to use them. Just, you can bring multiple images in at the same time. So let's say I want to do I click select. I want to use these four images and bring them over with one swipe. Long press. There's one image. Long press. Another image. Long press. Three. And as many as you want, okay? That's fantastic. If you're working on a sticker book, uh, it's going to let you bring in multiple images at the same time. Now, mine are not cropped, um, but if you want to, you could long press edit, crop your image, and now I have my little cropped image there out of the bigger sheet. And then I can say I want this one copy paste over here. Whoops, I need to lock that one. Okay, long press paste. And there's my Mother's Day. And I can move this without moving the image behind it. That's fantastic. And this one I can lock individually. So now my lasso won't move either one, this one or this one. They're locked independently. 
I can click my pen tool and unlock it. So now I can move it again. That's fantastic. It's a great new feature. Adding in multiple images at the same time is a great new feature. So I did that by drag and drop. You can also use your plus tool, photo, find where you keep your photos, and drag and drop this way. So I'm going to select what I want and drag. Same thing, okay? Long press, and there's my little images. Long press, and long pressing on each image. And there you go. I'm gonna lock this one so that I can write on it. And then when I choose to move that handwriting, <clears throat> the it didn't move the image behind it, just the text. Fabulous. So let's add in a background. And I'm going to edit that to fit my journal page. So edit, make it more of a rectangle, apply, done. So it will fit my planner page. And then I'm going to lasso, copy, paste it on this side. And then I can lock that. So I'm going to lock that one. I'm going to lock that one so those don't move. I'm going to add in my weekly on top of that. Whoops. Bring it over. I'm going to lock that one. And then some pretties over top. Long press, edit, and just get only the ones that I want. The background images are locked. I can still move this without touching my background. I can hand write and change things without moving my background. And I can do all my other functions as per usual. Convert to text. Um, I can now move that using my lasso very easily. and all of the other lasso features. Change the size, change the color, um, without altering the background. So that's a great feature for those of us who like to, um, who like to customize, and every page is different on every, uh, every week and every, every day. Another thing you can do is if you're working side by side with a sticker book, let's say you um, have a sticker book in GoodNotes that you are still using, um, you can bring good notes up on the side and work side by side. Or you can even have note shelf itself side by side. Let's go back here and I'm going to long press and open in a new window. So there's my, this is note shelf on both sides. That's a sticker book and I'm going to go back to where we just were. And let's just say I wanted to bring some of these stickers in. Now, so these are in um, one page stickers and I'll crop them as I bring them over. Or if you already have pre-cropped stickers, copy and paste right out of your sticker book. Um, copy, long press. You can long press or you can use the, the lasso button over here. And then I can long press and edit if you're if your images are not cropped the way I I tend to prefer individual um, sticker sheets apply make that even smaller apply that looks where I want it um, so you can work side by side um, with note shelf itself or with good notes on the side there is good notes now on the side 
same kind of thing. It just loads a little slower. So there's my lasso and copy and paste and there it is. Edit, same thing. And then I would just grab the item that I want and there's my sticker. So you can work side by side in good notes with note shelf or you can do note shelf side by side with itself. So don't forget to like and subscribe to my page and if you want to be notified when I put up a new video click the notification bell um, and leave me a comment tell me what you liked what you didn't like that will help my channel grow and uh, also I'll know more of what you're looking for to learn so let me know what you would like me to show next thanks for watching